Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am doing a little experiment today. I'm working on a little test canvas. This is a, um, a student grade uh, canvas. I haven't even taped it on the back because I don't plan on keeping this. Um, I have a commission for a much larger piece, a 24, I'm sorry, a 36 by 48, so three feet by four feet. And before I commit to uh, a color scheme or uh, a composition or a technique or anything like that, I like to test it out on a, on a smaller canvas. So that's what I'm doing today. So I thought I'd show you my process. Um, so they want, the client wants a swipe and they like straight lines. So I'm gonna play around with using uh, a circular uh, space and swiping out from the center. I saw uh, Mark J. Radcliffe do something similar very recently, and also Anuka from Anuka Fluid Art Design. Um, I'm gonna make, uh, uh, put my own little spin on things here. Uh, it's an idea that I had uh, previously. So I have, this is just um, the lid to a, a pitcher a water jug or something. It has the little holes on the side so you can pour it. Uh, but I like I would like this shape and this particular tool because it has a very thin edge. And because it has the little holes in it here, when I pull it up, there won't be any air suction that's going to change the shape that it creates. Um, I've used this, I've ta taken some leftover uh, plastic sheeting and uh, I outlined this and then cut a little swiping tool directly from it. So that I have a curved shape that fits exactly to my tool. So instead of trying to use a flat surface and get a round shape, I've cut this so that it fits perfectly here and I can swipe out once and get the, um, the, sh the shape and motion that I'm looking for. So uh, let me walk you through um, my colors. I have Liquitex Deep Violet for my base coat. I have Amsterdam Pearl Blue instead of Pearl White this time. And then I have, this is some, I'm using some leftover colors. This is a, a mix of several different uh, violets and a couple of TLPs. It has a metallic sparkle to it. And then I'm also using DecoArt 24 Karat Gold with just a squirt of uh, Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold in there. And I've reserved a little bit of uh, the base coat color so I can use it to swipe over top of these other colors. Um, I'm going to swipe out from the center out on the sides and then I'm going to use a, a tool like this to wreck out the line. So these uh, swipes here will be blended colors and then I'm just going to um, disrupt the lines uh, of the colors that I've poured around by swiping out towards the, the outside corners. So it's gonna be um, interesting, I think, I hope. <laughs> Let me move this off to the side. I will go ahead and put down my base coat and we'll get started.
Here are the wet results. I really like this. This is beautiful. Of course, I love that deep violet color. It's one of my favorites. And going with the gold with it is always a, a surefire. I know they work well together, so I love doing that. And the, some of these swipes are gorgeous. Look at that. I love that. I think this one's probably my favorite. I love how the, the gold is in the center um, and that deep violet gets pulled up um, really smoothly and uh, balanced. These other swipes are great too though. And I love the uh, the racks on the outside edges. I did notice that it gets down right down to the canvas in a couple places and it didn't self heal. So if I do this on a larger canvas, I might just go ahead and pre-paint my canvas so that if it goes, if I get down to the canvas like I've done here, it won't matter. Um, on this one, I'm not gonna worry about it again. I wasn't, this is just a test piece, so I'm not so super concerned. Mainly, I just wanted to, to check out um, what the structure was going to look like and if there was anything I needed to keep in mind. So that definitely helps. And yes, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little experiment. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And then come back and see me sometime. So here is the dry result of my test piece. Uh, for this 
I'm gonna call this a halo swipe. I don't know why it reminds me of a halo. <laughs> but I think it's super cool. Um, I did learn a few things and things that I will be adjusting for next time for when I do this on a much larger canvas. Sorry, I'm just gonna adjust my light here a little bit so I can get a little less glare. That's a little better. Um, I am super happy that I used that pearl blue. I don't know if we can see this on camera, but it has like an, um, it's like an interference, almost like a, an abalone shell kind of shift to it. Very cool. And it creates some really interesting effects in the swipe parts also. Look at that, see that there? I love that, that's super cool. Yeah, can we see it here? It's not blue, it's not white. It's somewhere kind of shifty in between. Super cool, I love it. Uh, but as expected, this, um, the Rex that I did with the comb right down to the canvas, it did not self heal there. So for the larger canvas, I will be pre-painting the whole thing. So when I wreck out, if it goes down to the canvas, it won't matter because it'll be pre-painted and that won't show through. But I'm really happy with the overall composition of this. Um, I like the, that there's so much negative space, but the composition is really interesting. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see me do this again. I will definitely be doing at least one more of these in some blues uh, and a few other colors too, but uh, mainly blue as the, the negative space. So let me know if you'd like to see a little series on these because this was fun and I would do this again. So thanks a lot. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime.